Good evening. My name is David Kennedy, principal of Madeira High School. On behalf of the faculty of Madeira High School, Central Office Administration of Madeira City Schools, and members of the Board of Education, I would like to welcome everyone to the 98th commencement exercises of Madeira High School. This event is the culmination of hard work, perseverance on the parts of our students, families, and employees of Madeira City Schools. I would like to recognize some special guests joining us to commemorate this event. Board of Education President Richard Palmer and Vice President Steve Bernicke. Board members Paula Andrus, Pat Shea, and Ryan Lex. Superintendent Kenji Matsudo, Treasurer Emily Hauser, and Assistant Superintendent Dave Bergen. Madeira High School Athletic Director and Dean of Students Joe Kimling. Madeira High School Counselors Kim Homer, Natalie Uline, and Vince Ronfeld. Also, our Director of Student Services, Jessica Stevens. We'd also like to recognize our teachers and administrative and educational assistants and their amazing support of all of our graduates to get them to this point in their lives. Finally, we would like to sincerely thank our class advisor, Stephanie Sanger, Susie Tucker, and video teacher, Jennifer Jordan, for their relentless efforts in celebrating and supporting and honoring this senior class. At this time, I would like to invite the senior class president, Sam Bernicke, to the podium to offer his remarks. Magistra, Mr. Becker, Mr. Korn, Mr. Kitchen, Mrs. Malterno, Mr. Phelps, Mrs. Edwards, Mrs. Barton, Mr. Bilarski, Mrs. Seelmeyer, Mrs. Tucker, Mr. Stalker, Mrs. Schmidt, Ms. Mick, Gurr, Mr. Brady, and last but not least, Mrs. J. This is a list of every teacher I've had in high school, and each one of my classmates has a similar one. And in each of these teachers' classrooms, there have been a collection of memories that I'll look back on, remember, laugh at, and I want to highlight more than a few of those memories to give you an idea of the impression they've made on all of us and the mark we've left on Madeira. Mr. Kitchen, freshman English isn't so much a class as it is a boot camp. Coming into Mr. Kitchen's class, you hear the various tales of like how someone can get less than a zero on an assignment and that you have to publicly speak in front of everybody. And you also hear about the wall. Mr. Kitchen has a lot of lessons in his class, but the biggest takeaway, for me at least, was that more choices are better. Mr. Kitchen would always talk about how when he was coming into work, he would stop by Grader's, wherever he got his pastries, and he would marvel at all the choices in front of him, even though he routinely got the same thing every single time. This same concept carried over into writing because Mr. Kitchen loved the variety of choices you could use in your writing. Whether it be semicolons, commas, word choice, or diction as he called it, he taught us to embrace making choices and creating options for ourselves. Mr. Becker. Chemistry is one of the harder subjects at Madeira, and I had the pleasure of being in Mr. Becker's class both freshman and junior year, and there was a stark difference between those two years. As a freshman, everybody's too nervous about being new to high school and not getting a bad reputation with the teachers. So when you're in the lab doing a chemistry experiment, <clears throat> you try your best not to make a mess or to forget your goggles, because then Mr. Becker will have you sing the I'm a little chemist song to the tune of I'm a little teapot in front of the class. However, when you're a junior, you're not super worried about that, right? So logically, that leads to having water gun squirt bottle fights in the lab. And the funny thing was, Mr. Becker was laughing as much as we were. Which brings me to my main point. Mr. Becker taught us that learning can be fun. And you could see this through the chemistry demonstrations and even PowerPoint notes he had. One of, my, one of his most infamous demonstrations was the triple point, where he had water, gas, and solid of water all in one beaker. And he'd tell everybody to get really close. And then all of a sudden, boom, it would explode and get water in everybody. And oh my gosh, he was just cackling away in front of us. And he showed us to enjoy being in school and learning. Magistra, the world language teachers get to have the special privilege of having some kids for five years. And they get to see how we grow throughout high school. They teach everyone in a different language, but what they're really just teaching is just to try new things. For example, when you first hear about Latin convention, what comes to mind? I remember thinking that eh, it sounded kind of uh, stupid and a waste of time as an eighth grader. However, she sold me on Latin convention time and time and again, and I've gone every year, barring this one, and it just kept getting better. The food is not the greatest, and the work isn't either beforehand. But that's not why you're there. You're there for the late night parties with your friends, getting yelled at and yelling at other schools, 
and making random friends out of the blue. And that's why we loved it. The world language teachers even sponsor trips to Italy, Spain, and France, which just reinforces that they want us to keep trying new things. Mr. Korn. I think everybody in our grade has had Mr. Korn before because he teaches every math class except geometry. And there's some general consensus that he does the impossible, making math seem easy. Through his talks about his wood shop in the building of the famous pizza oven, to tales of the concerts he's rocked at, especially his favorite, Bruce Springsteen, to the stories of the AP calculus conventions where they argue over whether you should have open or closed parentheses, to stenciling our names in the back of our calculators, and to all the great notes we've taken, he has taught us that anything can be learned. Gur and Mrs. J. This may seem like a strange pairing at first, but the two bring the same energy when they teach. I had Mrs. J first bell and Gur fifth bell after lunch. And so I was a little drowsy when I get into their classes. But when they started talking, man, I paid attention. Gur always had a story to tell, whether it be about the mock trial tournament he won, the Skull and Bone Secret Society, this one book about a stalker, poker hand probability, the MIT blackjack team, the band Queen. Our class always wanted to hear them, and it didn't matter what unit we were in. We also loved his sayings like snakey snake or gel done. For Mrs. J, she only had most of us for a semester, but man, did she have a lot of crucial things to tell you. Everyone hears the story about her time working as a fifth third clerk and how their bank got robbed constantly, how she set up her LLC real estate company, why you should never finance a mortgage for 30 years, why a low cost index fund is the best way to grow your money, and why you should only use credit cards for convenience. Either way, both of them taught us that you should bring enthusiasm to whatever you're doing. Mrs. Tucker, I don't think there's a nicer teacher at Madeira. I've had her for two years and I've never seen her upset or mad. For example, you'd think that playing hockey after physics notes will be slightly frowned upon. However, when we broke a meter stick, Mrs. Tucker would give the other team the broom and a power play. Furthermore, through the planning of field trips for environmental science to co hatting baccalaureate, to all the physics demonstrations, Mrs. Tucker taught us that you should always care. If I had the time, I would tell stories from every single class I've taken, because each of them had their memorable moments, both good and bad. To name a final few, we convinced Mr. Brady to get a dog. Mrs. Schmidt does not like phone games. Mr. Bolarski always has an attendance question. Mr. Stalker is prepared for anything. And Mrs. Barton loves her baby pigs. I said earlier that I was going to highlight the mark our class has left in Madeira, but that really hasn't begun yet. My point being that once we leave Madeira and incorporate the lessons that our teachers have taught us and we start living our lives, we leave a real mark and show what our teachers have taught us. Thank you. I would now like to invite our class salutatorian, Peyton Oliver, to the podium to give her commencement address. For four years, the class of 2020 has been asked, what will be your legacy? I came up with an answer that I couldn't have even dreamt of prior to these last couple of months. Our class's legacy will never be having the greatest senior prank, wearing the most beautiful dresses and tuxes to our last prom, or having the genius bottom seniors what's a Madeira sketch. It won't be sitting together watching our classmates perform at baccalaureate, nor will it be walking down the halls of the elementary school one last time with the people we grew up next to. Our legacy is unlike any other. In fact, no matter how abnormal that may feel right now, I think it's pretty special. Because our legacy is alive and ongoing. It has a fighting spirit and determination to succeed. Our legacy is each other whether in person, over the phone, or simply in spirit, you have all been there for one another. We lean on each other to handle changing relationships, the loss of friends and loved ones, and many inevitable high school hiccups. We lean on each other to grieve the loss of our beloved couches and to buy another one of the hundreds of t-shirts that are being sold at Madeira High School every day. We've leaned on each other to gracefully recover from failure, humbly respond to success, and thoughtfully make decisions about our future. 
we lean on each other to feel united when everything around us felt so uncertain. And right now, I'm leaning on all of you to feel as celebrated, honored, and proud as I know we all deserve to feel. I'm leaning on you to support one another and allow this moment to be all that you've ever hoped for. While it's easy to get caught up in all that we've lost, it's even easier to show gratitude for the almost four years that we spent within the walls of Madeira High School. It's easy for us to know that we would always have an excuse about where we really were during common time when Mrs. Schwein called us down to the office. It's easy for us to reminisce about the time we spent sitting in the tea when we should have been in class, escaping our study halls to visit our friends in the PLC, and finding unique ways to distract our poor substitute teachers on what should have been test day. It's easy for us to thank our hardworking parents, teachers, family, and friends for letting us lean on them too. No matter the differences in our high school experience, it's easy for me to recognize that the resiliency in memories I've gained from growing up next to all of you far outweighs the obstacles that I faced. Our legacy will always overshadow those moments. And once more, we are different in the fact that our legacy is one that won't truly be left behind. I know that as soon as my cap is figuratively tossed into the air, I am not parting from the class of 2020. I know that throughout all of my future hardships, victories, and ordinary moments, I have a hundred others to lean on. I hope you all know that too. So congratulations, not only on finally getting your diploma, but on enduring all of the testaments to your strength, on trusting those around you, on reaching out when you needed support, and being there when we all needed each other. Congratulations on being a part of a legacy that will never leave your side. I can't wait to see where we all go together next. Thank you. It is now with great pleasure that I introduce the Class of 2020's valedictorian, Grant Bright. Thank you, Peyton. 2020 has not been what any of us wanted or even expected. When people told me that second semester seniors do nothing, I didn't quite think that this is what they meant. This was supposed to be our year, our time to shine. We were supposed to celebrate these past 18 years of our lives like everyone else before us. But as life goes, sometimes unprecedented challenges pop up in our way. And we have to do whatever we can to get through those. The fact that our senior year was cut short does not take away from anything we have accomplished as a class. It doesn't change our success in sports and competitions, nor does it alter any of our academic milestones. We, as a class, are still part of the state baseball team, the boys soccer team that made it to a regional final, the football team that made it to the playoffs two years in a row, the district champion girls soccer team, the district champion boys basketball team, the track and cross country finalists at state, the theater program that presented many amazing shows, the band that received a superior at state, the color guard that placed second at championships, and so many more outstanding accomplishments. Absolutely nothing can take these wonderful memories and achievements away from us. Now, I'm not here to dwell on what could have been or what we missed out on. I'm here to celebrate the great class of 2020, the people I've known my whole life. If there's one thing that Coach Stu taught me in my three weeks of football, it would be to always control the controllables. It may sound quite simple at first, but there really are a plethora, shout out Mr. Kitchen, of things in life that we have no control over. Obviously, we had no choice to end our senior year like this, but what we could decide is how we reacted. This class did not let this ruin our senior year. We didn't stop doing the things that we loved. Rather, we found other ways to continue to live our lives. And if that doesn't tell you how strong we are, then I don't know what will. Yes, we are unique in that this is our reality for our final year of high school, but we are also unique in so many other ways. In the future, the class of 2020 will not be remembered for graduating during a global pandemic. We will be remembered for the amazing things that each and every one of us will accomplish in the next stages of our lives. Why can I be so sure of this, you may ask? Because we, as a class, have shown a strength and togetherness that very few have. It is said that tough times bring people together, 
and this is no different. Even in the worst moments, I witnessed our class being there for each other. Although we do have our disagreements in our class group chat, it's all love in the end. We truly care about one another and have developed some of the strongest bonds together. And it is no mistake that we are already prepared for the next era of our life because we've had the best support possible. Every teacher and administrator has been there for us each step of the way. They've supported us, cheered us on, cried for us, advocated for us. But most importantly, they've shown immense care for each and every one of us. Around every corner and over every obstacle, we've been supported by the staff and by the community. And this is what separates Madeira from the rest. We truly are a community in its purest form. Madeira presents a wide variety of opportunities for anyone who's willing to take a chance. Support comes from all corners and everybody wants you to be the best version of yourself. Here in Madeira, we've all gained so many important life skills. From learning not to lock each other in lockers during middle school, to learning how to manage our finances in high school. All of us have learned and grown so much as students and as humans. In elementary school, we learned how to communicate and how to put our thoughts into words at Young Authors Night. We learned the importance of teamwork during field day. In middle school, we learned all about college through March Madness. And, of course, that Duke is obviously the best basketball team. We learned the spirit of competition and pride through the Olympics. We learned respect and bravery through the Courage Retreat. We learned the power of exploration through Mrs. Flick's terrarium project. And then we entered high school, where none of us knew exactly what to expect. But we were ambitious and open-minded, ready to take on whatever was thrown at us. And this is where we grew the most. High school brought about so many new experiences for all of us. We witnessed politics firsthand with Samuel's impeachment. Gert taught us how to react when the kitchen sink was thrown at us. Mrs. Tucker trained us tirelessly for hockey. Magistra gave us plenty of life advice, some more often than others. Mrs. J made sure that we were always fed with animal crackers, and so many more that I don't have time to include. But, all jokes aside, every unique experience in high school has shaped all of us into who we are today. We have changed so much since freshman year, and not only physically, but also as people. This does not only apply to our time in high school, but also the 12 plus years earning a Madeira education. Every year, every class, every activity has led us to this moment now, adding onto our foundation as a person along the way. We have slowly been equipped with necessary life skills each year of our education, leading up to our departure from Madeira. Over the years, we've built a foundation to prepare us for our next stage of life. We are ready to enter the real world. In the coming years, we might change our major, or we might decide that we want a different future. But I truly believe that wherever we go in life, Madeira has built us this amazing foundation so that we are prepared to tackle any obstacle that comes our way. So I encourage all of you, whether you're a senior or not, to never back down from a challenge. Nothing, ever, nothing amazing ever comes easy, and you are all more than strong enough to become great. Don't be afraid to follow your aspirations. And finally, be willing to put yourself out there and try something new. Never in a million years did I expect to be giving this speech to you tonight, honestly. But during my high school career, I was willing to take that leap, to give something new a chance. I followed my heart, and I tried things that were out of my comfort zone, things like what's at Madeira. My four-year course planner looked entirely different at the beginning of freshman year compared to my final transcript. I ended up taking classes that I swore I would never take. AP Chem, AP Lit, and AP Bio were classes that I originally looked at and said, Hell nah! Yet, I gave all of them a try. They weren't always easy, but I challenged myself and did the best I could, which is all you can really do. Because of this, I turned into a better man and student. I learned that when the going gets tough, you should never give up. Trust yourself. And when you come out on the other side, you will be proud of your perseverance and strength. You'll even be happy that you didn't give in. In my own experience, I found out that Jane Eyre isn't that terrible after all. Poetry, on the other hand, is a different story. And those hard science classes I took, well, they actually helped my, me figure out my future. In the end, I can honestly say that challenging myself has changed me in many more ways than I imagined. In fact, I'm actually starting to kind of enjoy this whole speech thing. If I, formerly one of the quietest kids in the grade, can do it, then I know that all of you can as well. So please, believe in yourself. Dive into those challenges headfirst and conquer them. Madeira has given us the foundation to do so. Now, take all of my advice with a grain of salt, as I'm barely 18. I don't have all the answers to life, 
But what I can offer is my experience of being a Madeira Mustang. Perhaps the most significant thing that I've learned in my years at Madeira is the importance of human connection. The ability to build relationships and establish personal connections is among the most integral keys to life. Having people to grow with, learn with, and laugh with makes living life so special. The moments with the people you love are ones that you will treasure forever. At the end of the day, we aren't going to remember our sports records or our test scores. We really want to remember the people that we have built relationships with and the memories we've made with them. The people that we encounter and travel with on this journey of life make our lives so unique and wonderful. And it all started here in Madeira. No matter where we go in life, what challenges we encounter, and what great successes we find, we are always going to remember the people of our hometown. The staff, the community, our classmates, and our families will always hold a special place in our hearts. Next year, all of us will be in different places with many unknowns. Some of us will be in college, some of us will be in the military, and some of us will be in the workforce. But one thing is certain, the class of 2020 will always be made in Madeira. I would like to invite Ms. Kim Homer, Madeira High School Counselor, to the podium for special recognitions. At this time, we would like to recognize the highest ranked career and technical student. This student has been extremely successful at Live Oaks over the past two years. At Live Oaks, this student is a member of the National Technical Honor Society, has maintained straight A's, and was named Digital Arts and Designs Student of the Year during her junior year. The 2020 highest ranked career and technical student is Olivia Zack. Congratulations. At this time, we would like to also recognize our seniors who have committed to military service upon graduation. This year, we have three graduates who have enlisted. Robert Ball with an appointment to the Air Force Academy, Curtis Flores to the Marine Corps, and Aidan Reed to the Air Force. We owe each of you a debt of gratitude for your service and sacrifice. Thank you. To finalize our special recognitions, Madeira High School would like to acknowledge some special seniors and their commitment to community service. Madeira City Schools strongly believes in service and requires every senior to complete 40 hours of service in order to receive their Madeira High School diploma. Tonight, we recognize 37 seniors who have far exceeded this requirement by accumulating over 150 hours of service during high school. Tonight, they are distinguished by a special braided blue and gold cord they adorn that signifies their level of service to our community and beyond. Thank you. I would like to now invite our principal, Mr. David Kennedy, to the podium to offer his remarks. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you to parents, family, and special friends joining us this evening to celebrate the 98th commencement ceremony of Madeira High School. Seniors, soon you will be officially accepting your diplomas, a hallmark event that signifies the end to grade level traditions, competitions, and ceremonies that you have become so accustomed to as students of Madeira City Schools. But before we close this chapter for the class of 2020, let's briefly reflect upon it. As a class, you have accomplished so much. Out of the 101 seniors graduating tonight, 47 of you will receive an honors diploma from the state of Ohio. 49 of you are members of National Honor Society. 38 of you are graduating as MHS top seniors with a weighted GPA of 4.0 or higher. Two of you are National Merit Commended Scholars. Congratulations to Nicholas Bardson and Peyton Oliver. Five of you are National Merit Finalists. Congratulations to Elizabeth Valuto, Samuel Bernicke, Grant Bright, Olivia Hopkin, and Zunan Wong. Grant and Zunon also attained a perfect score of 36 on their ACTs junior year. This is an amazing accomplishment. Congratulations. Of course, this class has also excelled in many other areas beyond academics. As member of the band and choir, you have repeatedly qualified for state competitions and received excellent and superior ratings in the finals. Connor Redden received the National School Choral, Choral Award and has been a part of the OMEA's All-State Choir Congratulations, Connor. As members of mock trial, personal finance, and academic teams, you have dominated league competitions and challenged both regionally and nationally. 
Many of you in this class have also excelled in the visual arts as well, receiving gold, silver, and honorable mentions from the National Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Congratulations to Zenabu Sameh, Verona Schaffner, Neil Kajulu, Lucia Boatis Pena, Sophia Gogino, Asher Hodges, Jacob Waltz, Molly McGuire, Elise Bird, and Katie and Livy Zach. Asher, Verona, and Livy also had works of art selected for display in the Ohio Governor's Youth Art Exhibit. Congratulations on this significant achievement. Of course, this class has led the way in the performing arts too, leaving us in awe after many talented performances on the stage, most recently in this year's performance of Catch Me If You Can. Turner Burton, Sophia Dominic, Sophia Gugino, Isabella Pallas, Connor Redden, Katie and Livy Zach, all received honor status in the National Thespian Society, while Jordan Brewer received national honors status in the society. Congratulations to each of you. Let's not forget about the charitable work of this class over the years too. Senior members of this year's entrepreneurship teams, brave, simply kids, and good-natured, raised thousands of dollars for nonprofits, just as so many others in this class have done through their participation in magnified giving teams in both middle and high school. Sam Bernicke, Ben Ramos, Sophia Gugino, Grace Rendells, Katie Zach, and Jonathan Thiel even managed to find time during a busy senior year to be founding members of our new Hope Squad, a student peer-to-peer -peer club focused on supporting student mental health and wellness. Giving back to others is a notable cornerstone for this senior class. In athletics, this class also pushed us forward. Over the years, members of this class were teammates on basketball, football, baseball, volleyball, and soccer teams that competed in district and regional championships in state tournaments, resulting in many notable seniors tonight receiving CHL city and state recognitions. It has been fun watching our boys and girls cross country teams qualify for state again and again with Ben Ramos, Dylan Whitson, Diego Arredondo, and Emma Beck leading the way. Ben becoming an All-American was very exciting news as well. Congratulations, Ben. All these magnificent achievements, too many to list in one speech, come as no surprise from this small but mighty class of 101 seniors who collectively accumulated over $5 million in grants, scholarships, and post-secondary education. The hard work, dedication, and leadership of the senior class has built a legacy not soon to be forgotten. Of course, it is of the utmost importance to recognize that any one's success cannot be achieved without the support of others in their lives. Behind every senior here tonight, there are some very special people that provide the support and guidance necessary to get him or her to this point. That support at times came without asking in seemingly insignificant ways and likely without much appreciation early on. Like the special treats packed in lunch bags that were shared at the lunch table while you make friends at the elementary school. And now those more lavish, even gourmet senior treats that no one shares and everyone appreciates. Year after year, each senior has benefited from the time, love, and energy given in transporting him or her to practices, games, and social events. They have also capitalized on the fiscal sacrifices made in providing him or her the best possible equipment, supplies, clothing, travel, and more. Tonight, we pause to thank those amazing individuals. Would each senior please turn and look at your parents and loved ones watching with you tonight and say, thank you for all you have done in getting me to this point. I promise to do my best with what you have given me. Without a doubt, parents are the most important and influential people in anyone's life. And here at Madeira, we are blessed with great ones. They send us great kids every day. Thank you for all the dedication and hard work over your years. Of course, there are other dedicated individuals that have contributed to each senior's success in the class of 2020. Over the years, these individuals have shared powerful life lessons, favorable advice, and invaluable information with each senior. They have stood for countless hours on concrete floors, sacrificed lunch breaks, class uh, restroom breaks, coffee breaks, planning time, and still managed to make everyone smile by bringing donuts every Friday, because that's what great teachers do. To all the seniors listening tonight, be sure to thank all the wonderful teachers for being part of your journey through Madeira City Schools. Write a note, send an email or text, or give them a call. Hearing from former students always brings a smile. It means the world to us. Teachers, thank you for all you have done 
and the care you have shown for our graduates. There are many things that can be said tonight focusing on encouragement and inspiration to honor this milestone event. But let's face it, the end of the senior year has been anything but typical, and it would be hard not to reflect on what we've learned from it. I mean, what would you expect from an educator? We make everything into a lesson. I think one thing we've learned is that the class of 2020 are the champions of Senior Skip Day. No one's gonna to touch this one. I think we also figured out, once and for all, if we should have followed our dreams when we were young of becoming an astronaut, to live in a confined space station for an indefinite amount of time with the same people in the same rooms day and night, following a set routine over and over again, and using cameras and keyboards to communicate with friends. Yeah, I think I'm glad I didn't follow that dream. Another thing I think we figured out was how powerful human connection is, powerful enough to transcend almost any distance. Relationships and connections certainly looked and sounded different, but the feelings and emotions came through, impacting our quarantined lives. It was often our relationships and our abilities to connect that defeated the distance. Seniors, remember all the relationships you have built here in Madeira. And no matter how far you go, take the time to reconnect and maintain those relationships. Without, uh, throughout these unfortunate circumstances, everything has slowed down, even the Wi-Fi. Let's be real, being cooped up with mom, dad, brothers, and sisters was great, but it had its limits. We all had to learn something called personal time. It was a time that we hopefully slowed down, read a book, exercised, binged watched a TV show, or simply slept. I mean, let's face it. Most of you were probably only awake for dinner and lunch. I mean, the only thing that really got you moving was food. I really think we've come to realize how much time we spent running from thing to thing and how full and overwhelming our lives were when it was normal. Remember, when we resume, we will hopefully have better habits to slow down and start balancing our lives better. Seniors, take this lesson and use it moving forward in your lives. Little can be more. Be sure to reserve time for you, your health, your relationships, your family and friends. Life goes quick, and if you don't stop and look around, you will miss a lot. Finally, quarantine, social distancing, and extended closures pushed us to be more creative and learn new things. Watching my parents to log on to a family Zoom call was challenging enough. I got weary every time I heard the ding of them coming and going in and out of the call because they couldn't figure out their mute button. But they got better. They grew and learned. Birthday parties became drive-by parades. Senior events uh, became live stream videos. Porch pictures became more popular than selfies. And students actually had to pay attention to their Schoology notifications. We all adapted to the adverse conditions. Life found a way. The lesson here is that without adversity, we do not adapt and learn. Throughout the unprecedented times, I think we all found a new skill or talent. Seniors, never be complacent with who you know, what you know, or what you can do. Find adversity, look for challenges, and keep learning and adapting. As we finish one last speech, which you may or may not even remember, as you anxiously await to start the next chapter of your life, I hope that each of you will reflect and remember time spent walking the halls, attending classes, and creating memories with friends here at Madeira High School. We talk every year with every class about building a legacy, about being different, noticeable, and appealing. And collectively, this class has done a very good job at that. By now, after four years, words like Madeira Strong, DNA, different, noticeable, and appealing, and legacy may seem cliche, but I prefer to think that they are permanent pieces of who you are. They're part of being made in Madeira. My hope is that each of you uh, will continue to use these words and concepts as you embark on the next phase of your journey, building your individual legacy and being different, noticeable, and appealing to the world. Class of 2020, I wish you all the best. Thanks for all the Twitter photos, displaying your awesome school spirit, elite athleticism, academic prowess, and amazing artistic talents. It has been fin fun watching you grow and develop into tomorrow's leaders. Thanks for your strength, creativity, and resilience in times of adversity, and being the first to make the best out of a global pandemic. You have left a legacy I will not forget. Remember, you always have a home in Madeira. Be sure to always come back and visit. Believe in yourself and look towards the future. 
Live your life, leave a legacy. Good luck, congratulations, and Godspeed to the class of 2020. At this time, I would like to invite our superintendent, Mr. Kenji Matsudo, to the podium. On behalf of the Board of Education, Administration, faculty, and staff of Madeira City Schools, I would like to extend my greetings to our parents, relatives, friends, and most importantly, the members of the class of 2020. It's both my privilege and honor to serve as a superintendent and welcome you to what's turned out to be a very different commencement ceremony during extraordinary times in our nation, our state, and our small town of Madeira. Despite our school district closure and an ending to a senior fourth quarter year that no one wanted, we spent the last several weeks here in May trying to come up with a variety of different ways to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020. To be honest, the closing of the school year was one of the hardest communications I've had to share, not just because of all that would come with trying to figure out how to continue instruction, but also all that would be missed by this special class of seniors. A culmination of 13 years of hard work and matured young women and men is hard to just walk away from and end so abruptly. I say women and men because over the last 13 years, I've gotten to watch each of you grow up. You were kindergartners when I started in Madeira all those years ago. I've raced you in fourth grade field day. I've watched you in the crazy middle school years of March Madness and magnified giving debates. And I've cheered you both in the classroom and also in the field of competition these last four years of high school. I can say without reservation how very proud I am that as seniors you have made it to this moment. Supporting you throughout your Madeira journey have been many talented staff and faculty members who have poured countless hours into your lives to get you to this point. From elementary through high school, the quality and depth of the Madeira City School staff and personnel is unmatched. I would like to thank all of our staff for their tireless efforts over the years, and particularly this year, and would like to also take a quick moment to recognize and congratulate three staff members that will be retiring from Madeira City Schools at the end of this year. Mrs. Ann Kappas at the elementary school, Mrs. Ann Keene at the high school, and Mr. Wesley Woolard, who served at both the middle school and the high school. Each of these staff members, as well as so many others, have cared, loved, and cheered you on your way to prepare you for your next steps. We all know that Madeira City Schools and this Madeira community is a special place. While I shared this story with you when we met for our senior lunches, I wanted to take just a few minutes to share with our relatives and friends about how it, was, how it came to be that 101 seniors would be eligible for the May to Madeira Scholarship. It serves as yet another example of why our community is so special. The May to Madeira Scholarship has been made, through, made possible through the ongoing partnership with Madeira Schools Foundation and was endowed two years ago by a generous, generous donation from the estate of Homer O. Amos. Mr. Amos was a World War II veteran and a longtime Madeira resident and business owner who was proud that his sons graduated from Madeira High School in the early 1970s. As, a, as Madeira's local TV repairman, his shop up on Camargo Road served our community and surrounding area for many years. Mr. Amos was also an avid investor, successful in managing and growing his assets, but who in many ways lived a simple and modest life. Mr. Amos passed away a few years ago in Madeira at the age of 90. As a part of Mr. Amos' final wishes and legacy as a proud parent whose sons graduated from Madeira High School, his desire was to have his estate shared with Madeira High School graduates. Mr. Amos' generous donation of $785,000 has provided the foundation of the Made in Madeira Scholarship for years to come. In his own words, I bequeath my estate to Madeira High School for the purposes of establishing college scholarships to aid graduating students. It is my wish that the benefits from the scholarship funds be made available to as many students as practic practical to further their academic and career pursuits. Mr. Amos was indeed proud that his sons graduated from Madeira High School. Each and every one of our Madeira seniors have worked hard to make it to this graduation moment. And we want to celebrate each and every one of you by providing a Made in Madeira scholarship as a part of Mr. Amos's wishes. This endowment has been set up in such a way that it will live on for forever as each graduating senior who is attending college, entering the military, or attending uh, a career or technical training program will be given a $250 scholarship. 
As the years roll by in Madeira, our plan is to add to this legacy. In fact, it's already begun. In this past few years, alumni, staff members, and friends of Madeira have heard this story and wanted to be a part of it by adding their own gifts to this extraordinary scholarship fund. I can think of no other high schools in the state of Ohio where every graduating senior is awarded a monetary scholarship. Graduates Winston Churchill said that we'll, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. I would hope that this generous Made in Madeira scholarship given to you by a Madeira community member you never knew sparks an even greater sense of purpose for who you are and who you can become as you leave Madeira High School. Because you see, being made in Madeira means something. We know and have witnessed your academic success and your athletic abilities, but hopefully, and perhaps most importantly, you'll remember that being made in Madeira is not just about what you say, it's about what you do. That being made in Madeira is not how you start, it's about how you finish. It's not only about who you are, but who you can become. Being made in Madeira is not about getting, it's about giving. And if things aren't quite perfect, or you've hit a roadblock or a bump along life's journey, like a national pandemic in the fourth quarter of your senior year, it's never too late to change your path or course of direction and come up with something new. Because being made in Madeira means that you're loved beyond measure and that you never ever give up. I hope as seniors you've seen these last few weeks and are watching this now that you know that you're loved and that we never ever gave up. Despite the setbacks, the social distancing, the missed opportunities, and no doubt many disappointments, I will always remember this group as the group that never gave up. On our Zoom call the last week in April when all of our plans were washed up, many of you spoke up and simply said we can't give up, we won't give up, and we should all just be thankful. While I couldn't think of anything nearly as eloquent or inspiring to say at the end of that Zoom call, it was mostly because of how proud I was of your resolve as a class to make the most of a very difficult situation. I am sure for many of you students, it seems like uh, yesterday uh, that you showed up at the high school. And I'm sure for your parents, this final ceremony has come in a blink of an eye. 18 or so years ago, when they were bringing you home from the hospital for the first time probably seems like yesterday to them as well as they sit here today and look at what you've achieved. It's a bag of mixed emotions of letting go, happiness and pride as well as excitement for what lies ahead for each of you. I'm convinced that we could not be successful without the support of others and your parents have certainly worked hard and been a huge part of helping you to reach this milestone. I'd like to personally thank our parents and our Madeira community for standing behind each and every one of our graduates that are represented here in the class of 2020. As a class of seniors, you have achieved the excellence that personifies the school district's mission. Among you are National Merit Scholars, 4.0 students, talented writers, artists, musicians, actors, and athletes. And some of you have struggled needing to dig deep, wondering if you would ever make it choosing to perhaps be better than you thought you were to make it to the finish line. Thank you to all of you for working so hard and making us proud. As Mr. Kennedy and I, along with our parent volunteer, Joe Schultz, came around to take porch pics a few weekends ago, I learned something about myself as a result of social distancing and the guidelines we're following. It's just really hard to give an elbow bump to a student you've watched grow up for 13 years when you'd rather give them a handshake a fist bump, a high five, or a hug. Each of you are wonderfully special and loved very much because you were made in Madeira. So as we celebrate your graduation, I hope that you will be able to look back and see that it was all worth it. Graduating from Madeira High School and being made in Madeira means something. It means that you've been tested, challenged, stretched in your abilities in preparation for your next journey, your next set of accomplishments. I would encourage you to follow your dreams and meet that challenge with confidence, knowing that as a graduating member of the class of 2020 at Madeira High School, that you have been well prepared and are ready for your next steps. Thank you, Madeira High School class of 2020. I'm forever better for having known each of you. Each of you are truly inspiring and embody the ideals of class and excellence that make our Madeira City Schools proud. To paraphrase an old Irish blessing, until we meet again, May God hold you 
in the palm of his hand. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite Principal Dave Kennedy back to the podium for the presentation of the diplomas. Readers and presenters, would you please prepare for the distribution of diplomas? Mr. Palmer and Mr. Matsudo, it is my pleasure to present to the Board of Education the class of 2020 for graduation. I hereby certify that each of these students in attendance this evening have met or exceeded the requirements for graduation as set forth by the State of Ohio, the Ohio Department of Education, and the Madeira City Schools Board. Ladies and gentlemen, the Madeira High School class of 2020. Alyssa F. Adler. Zachary Altman. Charles Robert Andrus. Kate Moore Abenitis. Diego Eduardo Arredondo. Robert William Ball. Nicholas J. Bartson. Emma Stephanie Beck. Elizabeth Lynn Bellayuto. Samuel J. Bernicke. Lucia Boadas Pena.
Jamie Lon Brandewi. Grace Breitenbach. Grant Alexander Bright. Jordan Charles Brewer. Turner Matthew Burton. Andrew Joseph Carroll. Lucas Henry Sedillo. Matthew Clayton Cook. Benjamin Robert Cunningham. Thomas Cunningham. Roman Nicole Deal. Isabella Dominica DeMauro. Sophia E. Dominic. Abby Ewing Donnelly. Vincent 
Patrick Englert. Joshua Vincent Evers. Lindsay Marie Farrell. Lauren Ann Feely. Ava Grace Fisher. John Christopher Flanagan. Curtis Ryan Flores. Nicholas Timothy Gerard. Liam Crosby Glorious. Hannah Emerson Golden. Claire Susan Graham. Nicholas J. Groney. Joseph Anthony Groves. Sophia Marie Gugino. Ryan Christopher Ham.
Trevor Brant Harris. Haley Elizabeth Hartung. Heidi Lynn Hartz. Timothy Landon Hobbs. Asher Hodges, Olivia Megan Hopkin, Zunan Huang. Nathan Michael Huber. Brennan Pirun Huan. Morgan Scout Curly. Macy Marie Hyatt. Jawad Sammy Jolick. Claudia Margot Jennings. Kobe Warner Jones, Neil 
Sena Pujalu. Nicholas David Landis Ashbaugh. Claire Marie Lenhart. Timothy Paul Lewis. Eliza Noreen Elfrida Madlener. Rachel Karen Malloy. Kyrie LaShawn McRae Brown. Molly Rose McGuire. Catherine L. McNally. Lee Christopher Megis. Paige Cameron Meyer. David Henry Noctral. Peyton Ann Oliver.
Isabel Ann Powis. Andrew James Pruitt. Benjamin Eugene Ramos. Connor Sean Redden. Aiden Jonathan Reed. Grace Elizabeth Brindells. Lucy Noel Rogers. James Russell Ryan Ruth. Josephine Marie Sampson. Verona Eve Schaffner. Maxwell David Schmitz. Jack Robert Schweppe. Edward Doppler Schweppe. William Charles Schweppe.
Zainabu Hamza Samain. Naomi Grace Simmons. Samuel Raymond Zelinsky. Joshua David Stevens. Joseph D. Stricker. Jonathan Morrow Thiel. Corinne Elise Torborg. Kennedy Elise Torgler. Emily Ann Turcott. Matthew Marion Ventura, Jr. Jacob William Waltz. Alice Imogen Warner. Dylan Patrick Whitson.
Raven Maxwell Williamson. Emma Jordan Wing. Gabriella Lee Youngs. Katarina Portia Zach. Olivia Carol Zach. At this time, I would like to invite back to the podium class president Samuel Bernke to accept the diplomas. Members of the class of 2020, please stand. On behalf of this year's graduating class from Madeira High School, I hereby accept these diplomas. Would you now join me in the traditional changing of the tassel from the right to the left? Congratulations, class of 2020.